Steve, you're the winemaker here and you're also married to Leanne. Mm -hmm. Does that make her your boss? It does. Oh, how's that work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I mean, we've, uh, you know, it's nice sort of, uh, you know, I guess it's nice being married to the boss, but, uh, you know, we've got a good working relationship. Yeah, oh, it's a family company. Yeah. And what attracted you guys to this region? I've always sort of said you you really can't make can't make beautiful wine in an ugly place, and uh, and here I think it's you know it's a fantastic example of a of a place where you wake up in the morning and it's beautiful. Oh yeah. And you can't help but make nice wine in that sort of environment. I think. And you've got a number of properties around the Yarra, don't you? Yeah, we've got three estates here. We've got uh, we've got one here at Dixon's Creek. Um, we've got uh, we've got a property at Tarawara, and we've just bought recently a, um, an established vineyard in the Upper Yarra called mm -hmm. Lasatia Park. What makes De Bortoli stand out from all the others in the pack? Um, look, I think um, each of the wineries have their own sort of style of mm -hmm. wine. It's interesting when I speak to colleagues in the in the Yarra Valley. It's amazing how they sort of say, "Oh, you know, that's the De Bortoli style, or that's the Oak Ridge style, or that's the Giant Step style." Yeah. It's very much like that, and yeah. uh, you know, people learn to recognise some of those things. So mm -hmm. I think we have our own sort of individual thing. The vineyards are the other thing for mm. me that are, are really important. Like you know, age of vineyards, site specific, you know, stuff, which I think is really important. Um, we make wines from quite a diverse range of, 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 of microclimates, I mm -hmm. suppose, you know, within the Yarra Valley and from some different soil types. So I think that combination, mm -hmm. you know, gives us a little bit of uniqueness. Now, in the current Halliday Wine Companion, what are some of your standout wines? Well, um, we did really well with, um, with some, of the Melba, um, some of the Melba Vineyard wines, mm -hmm. um, the Cabernets. Uh, with the with the 2015 and the 2012, mm -hmm. and I think they are in the in the you know sort of in the top you know 20 within their category. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know we've done well with things like you know Chardonnay A5 Chardonnay, which is one of my favourite wines, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're we're really pleased with it all. Steve, you're being very modest, but mm -hmm. I think we should try one of those wines. Okay. <laughs> well, this wine's a 95 point wine. Okay. And uh, so this is our. Um, our A5 Chardonnay, which is a single vineyard just out the mm -hmm. way here. So it's 2017 vintage, um, probably one of the best vintages we've um, we've uh, experienced here mm -hmm. in the last uh, you know 10 to 15 years, um, and it's uh, you know it's sort of quite a quite a sort of fine Chardonnay, quite minerally. Mm -hmm. And what would you pair this Chardonnay with? Oh look, I, you know, for me, Chardonnay is very subtle flavours and things like that when it's made in this sort of style. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's things like, you know, pan fried John Dory, um, uh, sort of some some fairly sort of light barramundi or something like that. I think yeah. is a fantastic pair with, you know, these types of wines. Yeah, some nice light seafood, summer seafood. Absolutely. Oh, that sounds good. Mm. It's beautiful. Do you see some of those sort of citrus florals and, mm. you know, yeah, you know, sort of white flowers, maybe some of those sort of characters? In this one, we quite often see some of these sort of lactic, you know, characters, which mm -hmm. is, um, I, I don't know whether you know that term, sort of gypsophila for, for the little white flowers and things like that. But right. that's sort of one of the smells that we quite like in, in Chardonnay, and I think oh. this has sort of got it in spades. You know what I'd really like, Steve, is to taste a red straight from the barrel. Okay. You can do that for me? Yeah, we oh, can. Great. Steve, time for some red wine straight okay. from the barrel. Yep. Yeah, what have we got here? So this is um, our yeah, sort of 2018 A8 Syrah. Okay. And uh, so it's from a specific vineyard mm -hmm. and um, it was planted in 1971. So right. it's a really special plot and yep. it's quite old vines. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope you find it special. Okay. What sort of flavours can I expect this time? Look, a lot of these sort of flavours are, um, are graphite and uh, and violets and those types of sort of characters, but you be the judge. Oh, pretty colour. And how long has it been in the barrel for? So, so far it's been in for three months. Mm -hmm. um, we do handle it from time to time, so we, which means we we take it out of barrel um, into a tank and we generally do that by gravity. Mm -hmm. And you know, and then we try and gravity it back to the barrel so right. we're not sort of handling it with a, a pump or anything like that. Yeah. And what um, does that do to the wine? It just gives it a bit of air and it sort of opens it up a little bit because okay. um, sort of Shiraz or Syrah can actually get, you know, feel a bit closed and things like that. Mm -hmm. So giving it some air opens it up. Okay, let's taste. Okay. 
Mm, this one's very earthy. It is, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, one of the things about it, it's it's um, you know, even though it's a young wine, it's actually still pretty drinkable at the yeah. moment. And um, you know, we we think that you know, it'll maybe um, stay in this barrel, or you know, once we rack it. Mm -hmm and you know put it back in it might stay another six months right. and then we'll take it out and bottle it and then perhaps 12 months later we'll release it right so back in there back in, in there baby, yeah. exactly. a little bit longer <laughs> that's really nice that's smooth mm. thank you so much steve for this very special tasting but I, I think it's time i try out the restaurant okay yeah? enjoy yeah.